hate, I hate, I, I, am I allowed to swear on this? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, I mean, I. Welcome. Would you like to introduce your name, year, course, and university? Uh, yeah, um, my, uh, I'm Darius Harris. Um, I'm in my second year of uh, BA Media Production uh, at uh, Bournemouth University. Can you tell us your hometown? Um, I'm originally from uh, Sitting in London. Could you, there, so. could, you us of the, could you remind us of the course you're currently studying? Um, uh, uh, BA Media Production. So, why, did, um, so, why did you choose your course? I initially, so I initially wanted to do uh, the script writing course at Bournemouth, um, but um, uh, I went to an open day uh, with my mom, and um, uh, we were looking around, and we were talking to a, uh, a couple of people. And, um, uh, it seems like uh, media production kind of encapsulated a lot of different things that I could I could sort of learn because even though I had my eyes set on a specific uh, future. Um, it's important to learn different types of media skills so that you're not just locked into one thing so you can expand out when you when you do eventually get to uh, the industry you can you can kind of there are a lot of things you can do so that people can rely on you for different kind of things and it's true it kind of seemed like a encapsulating course if that makes sense you're now two years into your course what have you thought about your course um i've I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I, I've enjoyed it. Um, there have been some struggles this year specifically. I mean, from stuff like the pandemic to just sort of my own sort of uh, mental health issues I've been dealing with. Um, so things have just kind of been going, and, and, and it ties to, you know, into the university. So it's like things have not been great um, because like we've had to do things over Zoom and when you're doing a media course, having to do everything over Zoom is not very helpful. And we haven't been able to film a lot, and that's been frustrating. Um, some of the some of the courses, some of the stuff that we've been doing, I uh, across the past couple of years, I've been like, why are we doing this? Like some of it seems a bit useless. Some of it, you know, like uh, doing coding and stuff, I've I haven't really enjoyed. But um, there have been positives. I mean, getting to film stuff has been amazing. Getting to make some stuff has been great. Um, I got to make some really good friends and meet some great people. Um, and um, you know, I I think you know. That alone, I think, has made being going to university worth it. But um, I think the amount the amount where you have to pay for it, especially now, considering that we're still having to deal with like, you know, this whole pandemic and, and how university has been affected by that, I feel like it's a bit as very unfair to like students in general. But that's a whole other, that's a whole other thing. Um, so, but, oh, well, I'm, I'm kind of mixed right now, but I have enjoyed being here. I don't regret. I haven't regretted coming to university if that if that means anything can you tell us in your on your course um have you do you have a placement year uh no i do not okay you can, can you remind us of the current can you remind us of the university you're currently studying at bournemouth university if we're going to the best and worst things about studying at bournemouth university starting off of the worst um there are a lot of people i mean it's a lot there's a lot of noise all going around i mean not so much now but like in my first year like there's was, there was a lot there's a lot going on there are a lot of people around it can i mean for someone like me who get easily distracted it can be a bit be a bit much um i think um i think uh trying to think um i think um i think uh like lecturers can be a bit condescending sometimes. Um, they they can kind of talk down to you sometimes, and sometimes that can be really passive aggressive. Um, mm. um, um, there are, yeah. I mean, I can't really think of anything else right now. But I'm okay, trying so to think. The, the best things then. Sorry, what? The best things then. Oh, um, there are, there are quite a few places where you can study. There are, you know, there are you can pretty much go anywhere and study pretty much. Um, there are there are a lot of options in terms of like um, where you can go. I mean, there's there, there's a library. There are a bunch of other places. I mean, there's um thing called the Fusion Building, which is basically like a kind of like a cafeteria, except it is like really tall and really it's a big building. Um, there are a lot of places like there are a lot of like um you know computer computer labs that's that's not the right. That's not the right term for it. But I think it's going. Um, 
and um, there are there are there are really cool like there are really cool like halls where like uh, not cool halls but you know, you know um uh, lecture halls you know oh seminar like seminars lecture halls big just things to study in and learn yeah you know they're really big and you know I think um there there are cool places where you can get food <laughs> um, okay if we now go into your accommodation where did you live in your first year um Purbeck house and what was it like living in Purbeck house uh it was fine it was fine I mean wi-fi sucks <laughs> but um uh you know the flatmates I was living with they were really cool I mean most of them were really cool um we had a lot of there we got to a lot of really fun nonsense hijinks <laughs> um a really a couple of really crazy things happened while I was staying uh, in the, in a flat in the flat in with other people um uh, uh, yeah, it was it, it was fun. I mean, I got I mean, I got to meet. I mean, the staff were really nice. I mean, everyone's just you know really nice. I mean, there were, I mean a couple of like I mean there have I've had a couple of weird experiences. One in particular, um, I remember one one night I was like sitting in my like this is real by the way. I, I was I was sitting it was on a Friday night and I was just on in my bed on my phone and suddenly a naked woman ran to my room just randomly. And um like like I have no idea I have no idea who this woman is. I have no idea like where she came from. But it turns out that one of our new flatmates because he'd replaced we had a flatmate who had gotten replaced and the guy who had replaced her, it turns out that she was with him but he was out somewhere like and he when he came back he was like like he was clearly on drugs and it was a whole situation. Like it, when I'm describing it, it sounds like it's like a fake. It sounds like I'm making it up, but it actually was a real thing that happened. And that's like I, I still remember like so it's like one of the craziest things like to happen in like the first year. And so, you know, there are weird things like that have happened, but so far but generally I had a really good time living there. Okay. So if, where are you now living in your second year? Um, still perfect house. Uh, but I'm living in a studio flat by myself now. So I'm not living with anyone. And what is it like going from a shared accommodation to a studio flat? Um, pretty, pretty cool. I mean, I'm a very antisocial person anyway. So, you know, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty cool. I like, I like the space. I mean, being able to, you know, not being able to, not being, not having to share, you know, stuff like, you know, fridges and stuff is cool. Um, it, it makes me feel like I'm more of my own person rather than, you know, I'm oh, sorry. It makes me feel like it makes me feel like more like I'm independent more. So because even though I was independent last year, when you're living when you're living with other people, it, you don't it doesn't feel you don't feel like you don't feel as like you don't feel as much like your own kind of independent person. Does that make sense? Hey. Like like when you're living yeah. when you're living with other people, you kind of all feel like you're all kind of independent together, but it doesn't feel the same. If that makes sense, mm. you know, like. It, it kind of reminds me of like living with like your own family, you know. It's like you are independent, but not really. Does that make sense? So you briefly talked about it. If we now go into the area, can you tell us what it's like? Can you tell us about the Bournemouth nightlife? Oh, Bournemouth's great. Um, I I love I love Bournemouth. I mean, it's it's a big area. There are a lot of places to go, a lot of food places to go to, a lot of shops, a lot of things you can do. Um, in terms of like the nightlife, I don't go out that often, but when I do go out, I mean, I've been to a couple of clubs and they're, they're cool. Um, a bit loud, a bit, a bit extreme, but you know, that's what you expect from like nightclubs and stuff. Mm. Um, um, the cinema, the cinema is really cool. I mean, I go to the cinema last week, but the only reason I'll go out is because the cinema and like the cinemas are really cool. And um, if we now go into, you know, you're, oh, go on, sorry, finish. I was just gonna say that, like, I would definitely consider like living here, like, like straight up, like, you know, like, like living here. I would definitely consider living here. It's a great place. If we now go into the, uh, like, you know, your shops to get your groceries, your everyday items. What is it? What are those? What is it? Are those more chain or local shops? Uh, more chain. I mean, I mean, I mean, there are stuff like you have stuff like Asda's and Co-ops, and I and Aldi's. Or little going out is. And then if we go into like restaurants and you know going out shops, is it again more chain or local? Uh I think there's a mix. 
it does a mix of like chain and like local shops. I mean, there are Taco Bells. You have your Taco Bells and your McDonald's, but then you also have a lot of like more local like Indian restaurants. I mean, there's one in particular where I had uh, curry with my family who came over to celebrate my birthday, and that that was an amazing place. Okay, if we now go into the advice, what advice would you give to students about to study at Bournemouth? At start, what general advice would you give to students about to study at university? Uh, well, I mean, I know that when I was starting, when I started, I was like really nervous about like the social aspect and about like just like whether or not I'd really be able to get through being able to learn properly, if that makes like, but I just say, just, just, um, just, uh, just, well, I would say to first years who are just starting out, just stay, remain calm, I'm sure, just, um, keep, stay focused and just, you know, you know, start, you know, try and, try and, try and, try and, um, don't be afraid to start talking to people, um, because, you know, uh, building um for the social aspect you know just start don't be afraid to talk to people and start making new friends because i, I guarantee you you might end up like make, meeting people who you will become like your best friends because that's what it was like for me starting university um you know i started meeting people who have now become like some of my best friends and in terms of the learning aspect just uh don't don't worry about you know because in the beginning it starts off very like calm like they still they kind of they sort of gradually lead you into it there's a lot of like lectures a lot of just sitting and listening to people talk um um i'd say just trying so i'm not usually the best person for advice but um i'd say just um just you know stay uh just yeah just um, remain calm remain focused and uh just just don't just don't worry too much. Just don't like worry too much about it because as an overthinker, I can tend to worry too much about everything. Just don't worry too much about it. Just you know, because a lot of a lot of your beginning will just be like you listening to people talk about stuff, and and then with then just don't be afraid to start talking to people, making friends because you know you might end up developing a really good social circle around you. Or the and best advice I can give. What advice would you give to students about to study at Bournemouth University? Um, just be prepared to deal with um, some condescending lecturers. <laughs> uh, um, no, but like, um, uh, yeah. I mean, there might be some stuff. I mean, I'd say make sure, make sure to make sure to learn where everything is, because uh, because otherwise you'll end up getting really confused as to where stuff is, where stuff is, and especially if you're late to a lecture, you don't you don't want to not know where where the where the lecture is taking where the lecture is taking place so make sure you know where everything is uh make sure you're aware so that you can get around easier uh uh and make sure to uh oh and make sure make sure that uh i'm trying to just give you a second um it's all right We can move on. Yeah, so that's basically just it. Just remember, just know where everything is and you should be fine. Okay. And what advice would you give to students about to study your course at university? Oh, um, well, I would say uh, just be prepared because there are a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff that might not appeal to you that you might end up liking that you have to do in this course that you might end up enjoying and then and vice versa there might be stuff that you think oh that's really cool that you might end up hating um uh just don't be afraid to like don't be afraid like i said before just it also applies to just don't be afraid to talk to people and start developing like a good team of people uh don't be afraid to talk to the lecturers because a lot of them are nice if not incredibly incredibly passive aggressive um and uh yeah i think you'll i think just be prepared to like uh, be have fun, be frustrated, be upset, be confused, and keep prepared for a lot of different emotions going in. Hey. You chose going to university over an apprenticeship slash going right into work. What path do you to make this choice? Uh, 
I think because because I I've always wanted to because uh, I've I wanted to pursue a career in write script writing and directing, and I felt like a placement would be right for me because an apprenticeship would be right for me because it it just I didn't really have a reason to be honest. I just I just uh, well I didn't I didn't want to go right to work because uh because it just it just didn't because I, I, I hadn't worked before so I just I was like I just didn't really want to do it to be honest but like the reason I chose university is because I wanted to I just felt like it it would be it would be a good way of me to, to help me really develop my skills so that I could be good at so I could be because I've already written scripts before that but I could get better at writing I get better at uh, I can actually learn how to direct and direct other people and actually learn develop my skills properly it's the reason I chose university hey at this point I let students have what I like to call a free-for-all you can say what you want about what you'd like you can give advice you can say something smart you can say something dumb literally the floor is yours uh um well uh Shit. Um, well, uh, I mean, university. I mean, it's cool. I mean, it's frustrating. I mean, there, are, there, are, there, are, there are times when like they just don't tell you anything, and they expect you to just kind of get along with like very this information. They just kind of string you along sometimes, and like there are times where it's like like we're all just left, just kind of downfounded. Like, well, what are we supposed to do? You know. Especially like this year has been so fr so frustrating, just because of like how the pandemic has affected everything, like, and it's made things so, like, I've been on I've I I think, I, <laughs> this year has almost made me completely lose my mind. Like this second year has almost made me completely lose my mind because like, we've had we haven't been able to film, we haven't been able to do anything physically, so that's been really frustrating, and. Doing things on Zoom, it's just it, it kind of makes you zone out a lot. Shame. Uh, it kind of, it kind of makes it hard to follow, especially for someone like me who's so easily distracted. I mean, so if you just so, want to end I mean, the video, university's, oh, cool. I mean, university's cool. I mean, it's not for everyone. I mean, I I hate I hate I I am I allowed to swear on this? I don't I don't know. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, I mean, I I fucking hate how like how much they're making us pay for this, considering that. Like a lot of the time, I I kind of have felt like a lot of my money's been wasted because we haven't been doing a lot of stuff that I've wanted to do or like stuff that we've ended up, I've ended up feeling like it's a waste of time or like fight or like et cetera. And but I still don't regret coming to university because that there have been enough positives to make me go. You know, I've enjoyed this and I'm looking forward to next year because I feel like I can really kind of hold my skills and really kind of power through and make sure that I deliver like really good content for uni stuff. Hey. Right, uh yeah, uh don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh I'm plugged in. Amazing, thank you.